taking a little break. Get the stretch. It wasn't bad. Actually, it wasn't that bad. It's not bad at all. The sun is out. Beautiful. And I feel super, super relaxed, which is awesome. Look at this train. Love it. Where am I? The not Dakota. It's just been a peaceful ride. Exactly what I need. You know, change is good. You know, this is what my channel is about. This is what I'm trying to encourage you to do, specifically women to do, is make the change that you need in your life. I feel so peaceful because I am rested. I am supposed to be arriving um, to Whitefish. I have a nice little ride, not until 10 o'clock tonight, so I'm going to enjoy the ride. Oh, that's interesting. You see that? Long-term parking at your own risk. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel that bad. I'm glad I got my hat, and I'm glad that I have my winter coat. So... <sighs> Double deckers. It's really cool. So that's mine right there. Three, three, four, one, three, four. Very cool. So ladies, if you've been watching my videos, you you'll see the journey to how I got here go back and look at my video um, from Philadelphia, no, Pittsburgh is when I left Philadelphia when I went to Yellowstone. And so I'll tell more stories, right? Cause I let myself get stuck again in Philadelphia. We need to talk about getting stuck. Getting stuck in relationships, getting stuck in jobs. Just allowing ourselves to get stuck because what I've learned is that you know I had a tendency to wait. Wait on someone to call me back. Wait on a job to call me back wait on this, wait on that. Meanwhile, life was flowing. Life just goes on. And... <laughs> and life just goes on. And what I realized is that I have to stop waiting. Oh, is that the break? I had to stop. Oh, it's not over. I had to stop waiting. You have to stop waiting. And what I learned about that is that it has a lot to do with the faith in myself. Putting more trust in institutions, um, organizations, other things than putting the trust where it should be is in God and in myself. So really just it's about faith. And that's what I'm learning here. It's one of the big lessons is just listen to what I believe the Holy Spirit is saying it has to do with move and move 
have faith. Because that's what he said, right? Without it, it's impossible to please him. And so I'm living it out. And we're not going to get the whole picture. That's the thing. If you're like me, you want the whole picture. You want step one, step two, step... You want you want it all laid out for you. But that's not... That's not how it goes. Like, if he does give you more than one step, that's great. Most of the time, from what I'm seeing, it's just going to be one step. I forgot how long they said the break was. So, this is a pretty nice... Train, let me see. The train is pretty long. It goes down around the corner. It's pretty long. Nice. So I'll be talking to you again. So just have faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. See you next video.